My name is Turbo. I just want to go a little faster. DreamWorks Animation's Turbo tells the tale of a snail who dreams big, really big. I watch his racing obsessively on this old dusty TV in the garage. Uh, fantasizing about one day being able to compete uh, in the Indy 500. Turbo director David Soren dreams big too. It started 10 years ago. 10 years, 10 years ago. ago with a pitch fest competition that DreamWorks had. DreamWorks hosts competitions where staff can pitch stories. Soren's super fast snail pitch was a hit, but it wasn't until two and a half years ago he finally got to make his movie. So far, the summer's hottest animated films have been based on proven characters. Pixar's Monsters University and Universal's Despicable Me 2. But DreamWorks hopes Turbo, originally conceived as fast and furious with snails, will appeal to the fast car crowd. They sent me to Indianapolis and had Mario Andretti draw me around the track at 170, 80 miles an hour. And that experience, you know, getting to feel what that's actually like viscerally, uh, gave me a sense of where we wanted to bring the film cinematically. The film will also help set up a Turbo TV show coming to Netflix in December. DreamWorks is producing all sorts of original programming for Netflix, part of a plan to boost TV production revenue to $200 million by 2015. Netflix has become such a, a popular way to watch television. I know my kids spend the bulk of their time watching Netflix. For now, though, DreamWorks hopes kids will spend some time at the theater Ooh, taking in Turbo. A snail cannot race in a competition meant for cars. Wow. Aren't you just a little ray of sunshine?